Hi everyone, it's Michelle. Thank you so much for stopping by today and spending just a little bit of your time with me. If you're new to my channel, a warm welcome. If you're returning, thank you. Today I'm going to shop my own closet and show you some items you might not have seen before that have come in the mail recently because I've been home a lot more often than I'd like to be and I haven't been going out very much and I've been shopping online again. Oh, guilty as charged. This video is about what I would have worn if I could have, <laughs> if I did go out. So it's some outfits that I've put together to show you if I was able to go out, this is what I might have worn. It's gonna be an assortment of fashion. I don't think I'll do anything super casual because I actually feel like dressing up a little bit. It's spring here now. We've officially moved into spring as of yesterday, as of the 23rd of September, which is our spring equinox here. And it's not just significant because it's the spring equinox. It happens to be my birthday. I think that's pretty cool, actually. I share my birthday with some very cool people. Now, they happen to be musical and I'm not the least bit musical. The most famous one would be Bruce Springsteen. The boss and I share the same birthday and I'm incredibly honored because I just think he's a wonderful human being. I love his music and I love him as a person as well. The other guy is Ray Charles. I think Ray Charles was an absolute genius. I love his music. One of his songs, Georgia, his famous song, is one of my favorite songs. Every time I hear the introduction to Georgia, I just chill. I think it's such a beautiful song. And I think he was a tortured soul in many ways, but he came good and he gave the world incredible music. Here's another amusing one. It's Jason Alexander from Seinfeld, otherwise known as George Costanza. We know him as a comic, but actually he's a song and dance guy. He came from musicals on the stage. Not many people know that about Jason Alexander, so that's kind of interesting. For those of you that are into astrology, and I know that lots of you are, you're probably wondering, what is my sign? What is my zodiac sign? Well, <laughs> I'm a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I was born smack bang on the cusp. I had my chart done a really long time ago when I was young, when I was more into astrology. I'm not really into it so much now. I take it as a bit of fun actually, but I was born smack bang on the cusp. So that makes me part Virgo, part Libra. And I can really identify with that because the creative side of me is very liberal. I'm a very creative person and I get my juice in life from being creative. I go into my Zen zone when I'm creative. It's where I feel like I'm at my best. But the Virgo side you might think is very practical and very organized and I'm not <laughs> and neat and tidy and I'm not. I'm none of those things but I am hardworking and I am ambitious. I make no apologies for saying that I've been ambitious in my life. I thrived on hard work and achievement. It was just part of my nature. In some areas of my life, I'm extremely practical. It might not appear so, and I'm showing you fashion videos and I'm a confessed shopaholic. <laughs> yeah, confessed shopaholic here. In some ways, actually more so than now. I used to be practical in some areas. Now I just think, hey, seize the day. You know, I, I probably turned more liberal now. I probably turn more um, enjoy life when you can. While you have it, enjoy whatever good days that you have. Unlike liberals, I'm not extra social. I'm an introvert. Well, borderline. I'm borderline with that one too. Oh, I just, I just remembered the other person that I um, share the same birthday with. I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, but he was incredibly famous, Mickey Rooney. <laughs> yes, Mickey Rooney, the child star. Well, he was very, very famous and I don't know why the world loved him, but they did love him. And he did a lot of movies with incredibly famous actresses like Elizabeth Taylor. 
enough about me it was my day yesterday so it's your day today it's all for you I'm going to style up these outfits so let's have a look at them if you're enjoying my videos so far and you have not yet subscribed please think about subscribing. I absolutely adore you to subscribe. Join our tribe. Love to have you. And I always appreciate a thumbs up for a like. Don't forget the thumbs up. Don't forget the bell too. There's a bell there. A little bell icon for notifications of when my videos come out. Come on board. Love to have you. My channel is called Michelle Shelley's Style. It's all about having fun with fashion for mature ladies. You decide what mature is. You decide what age we become mature. I'm into my mid-60s now, so I do consider myself mature. We're having fun with fashion. We're breaking quite a few rules and throwing out those stereotypes about how we're supposed to dress at a certain age. We're not buying it. We're rebelling. <laughs> The main emphasis is definitely on having fun, not taking it too seriously. We still want to dress our best. We still enjoy fashion, but we're having fun with it and we're doing it our way. I think this is such a pretty floral blouse with the two-tone blue colors, the softer blue and the stronger blue for the flowers. I just wanted to show you what this blouse looks like, worn like this, out like this. I don't usually wear blouses that are elastic at the waist. This is elasticized at the waist and it blouses over and has a peplum. Well, it's more like a, um, just a frill. There's a big frill on the bottom. I usually don't wear blouses out like this. And the reason being is I'm short, I'm petite, I'm five foot two and petite is five foot three and under. Some say five foot four and under. Um, I say five foot three and under is petite. So that's the reason I don't wear them bloused out and over like this because they tend to make me look shorter and wider, definitely wider. Chiffon off the shoulder with elastic here in the arms and I like to pull them up a little bit like here to just blouse them over here. What I'm going to do with this gorgeous blouse is tuck it. I'd probably be more inclined to wear this blouse with just a pair of jeans, but I wanted to show you the gorgeous satin A-line skirt. Isn't it absolutely beautiful? This is a really lovely weight. It's not too heavy and it's not too fine. And it's my absolutely beautiful indigo blue color, which I just adore so much. And I just thought it looked really soft and, well, very spring-like together. It looked quite feminine and spring-like. This skirt feels beautiful to wear. It actually feels almost like silk. It's not silk. If it was silk, I would have paid, well, probably five times as much easily, but it feels like it. It's just a good quality satin. The reason that I probably wouldn't wear this together normally is because when I tuck all that frill in, I do get all this bunching and bubbling around here because the skirt is fitted on the waist. That's why I'd probably wear it with jeans. I love a simple A-line skirt. They're not easy to find, actually. I do wear some pencil skirts, but lately I've been feeling like having my skirts a little bit more roomy. And I don't like really gathered skirts on the bottom because, once again, I'm short, I'm petite. If there's too much gathering and too much fabric on the bottom, it makes me look shorter and wider once again. Oh, and please leave me in the comments who you share your birthday with, which famous person you share your birthday with, or famous persons, I should say, that you share your birthday with, or somebody that's really close to you. One of my brothers married a lady with the same birthday as him, so that seems to be working out really great for them. They've been together a long time, so I don't know, I think that if, I guess if you're going on astrology, they'd say that you're better having somebody with a different sign to yours, and there's certain signs that they say match better with other signs. Oh, it's all a bit of fun. I'm not taking it too seriously. It's all a bit of fun. 
I do respect that some of you really love astrology and believe in it wholeheartedly and I can understand why I really can but for me it's more fun these days I don't usually buy bright colored skirts or wear bright colors on the bottom, but I actually love them. And I had to cave and buy this one. It's very bright orange, but I thought it was a gorgeous color and it's 100% cotton. It's a lovely thick cotton and not being, it's not too pencil shape. It's slightly A-line and it fits beautifully. I'm really glad I bought this. So I'm going to have a bit of fun with this skirt. I'm going to style it up in a few different ways and you decide what you prefer. I actually really like this look, but I'm going to see where else I go. I have nothing in mind at the moment. There's nothing planned. I'm just going to go into my wardrobe and pluck out some tops and some accessories that I think might work with orange. I really like wearing white with citrus colors with oranges and yellow colors I think white and those colors citrus colors I call them I think it always looks really fresh I love this blouse I think it's a little bit fun I think this is the kind of blouse you'd wear to a party and I just so happen to have an orange bag I think I must be going in that direction lately I don't know what it's about I used to wear a lot of orange but I haven't for a long time but it's spring so I'm feeling like bright colors this is one of those occasions I couldn't decide whether I should go with the white shoe to match the blouse or the black still look better with the orange I tend to think the black still looks better so I've shown you one of each <laughs> a little bit different I know I'm going to have a lot of fun wearing this skirt. I'm going to come up with so many different outfits. Remember the rule? When you're buying a garment, you have to ask yourself, do I have three garments already in my wardrobe that I can team up with that garment? I'm pretty sure with this orange skirt, I'm going to find a lot more than just three garments easily. What do you think? A bit bold? Cobalt blue with a really bright orange. You can't say it's not a colourful outfit. I quite like it actually. I think the colours go together beautifully. If the weather was a little bit cooler, I could tie a denim shirt around this. I really like to use shirts as well, sort of like a jacket. I actually have two denim shirts and I was trying to decide which one would look better. This is a lighter wash with the white buttons, more of the um, cowgirl, cowboy look, western, the western look. <laughs> That's what I was thinking of. This is a darker wash denim and it doesn't have any stitching or buttons that show up. So I was kind of tossing, I was tossing up which denim shirt. I'll swap them over, you can decide. I think I preferred the darker wash. This one is a little bit busy. It doesn't look right with this particular top under it. I preferred the darker one. What did you prefer? I'm really fond of slip dresses. This is a great one. It's slightly A-line and I bought a red one. I don't own much red in my wardrobe, but I'm adding little pieces in here and there because you guys keep telling me you like me in red and I thought, why not? I've never owned much and it's kind of fun to have red. Slip dresses are absolutely perfect for wearing overgarments. You can wear so many different overgarments or jackets or soft blouses like this chiffon blouse that ties in the front. I didn't know whether to do the bow or just leave it dangling like that. Either way it can look really good. But that's one thing I love about slip dresses. They're versatile and you can actually just wear a knitted top over the top of it and use it as a skirt. A sweater. You could wear a baggy sweater over this 
not if you're short, <laughs> better if you're tall. And sneakers, dress it up, dress it down. Oh, so versatile. Slip dresses are so versatile. You can always go cash, just putting on a denim jacket over a slip dress. There's so many different ways you can wear them. I just love the fab versatility of a slip dress. We tend to think of them as a summer dress. They certainly can be trans-seasonal and I'm just about to show you how I would style this up in a trans-seasonal way. One, I can add a scarf to it. So I've added an absolutely beautiful red scarf with white and grey flowers. It's a gorgeous scarf. It's a, um, I think it's a, a linen. Yeah, it is. It's definitely a linen blend. It's a beautiful scarf. So I have my first suede knee-high boots on. They're knee-high boots. They're just super comfy. They don't have a very high heel, which suits me just perfectly. And I've added a long cardigan, or a long cardi as I call them. Just a very simple knitted long cardi. So now I have a trans-seasonal dressy outfit from a summer slip dress. Just a simple slip dress. They can really work well for you in your wardrobe. If I wanted to add a little bit of a boho look to this outfit, because it could look a little bit boho, I would just add a pendant, a crystal chunky pendant or anything that looks boho. This is a perfect kind of trans-seasonal outfit where you could go out to eat and to listen to music with your boho pendant. You could be rocking it in your knee-high boots. Before I go, I want to mention something that I used to mention quite often and I've got out of the habit of saying this. Spread those compliments around, ladies. Spread them around. Everybody, spread compliments around. They can truly make somebody's day, as long as it's sincere. If you see somebody and you think they look fantastic in it, even if it's a stranger, pay them a compliment, particularly when we get over a certain age. I think we get too few compliments. Sometimes people are very complimentary. There are certain people in our life that are like that. I actually love compliments. I love to receive them, but I get so much joy out of giving them. So spread those compliments around. Hey gorgeous people, thank you so much for watching my video. Bye bye now and have a great day everybody.